Hello and welcome to ALW Collectibles. Today we're going to be taking a trip back to 2005 for the Transformer Cybertron toy line. We're going to be taking a look at Deluxe Class Red Alert. And there he is with all his accessories. He was released in the second wave of the toy series in 2005. Pretty cool. This had a very cool gimmick, in my opinion, which was which was the Cyber Planet Keys, which was the key point of that show. Very cool looking figure. Let's take a closer look at this vehicle mode. He is a Dodge Magnum inspired emergency vehicle. And it's pretty basic, and you got a little design right here, the hooding right, hood right here. You got the blue stripes. I do like it though. The only thing I'm not a big fan of is he got his head popped up right on the top there. But it is what it is. See, sets of feet. And this is a very unique transformation when we get to it. I'll show you that one. Didn't realize his foot was popped up. Still rolls very nice. He does have a few accessories. He's got a hammerhead, which has attached us to his arm, which we'll definitely take a look at that. He's got a robotic claw hand, which does move. And he comes with the key point of the Transformer Cybertron line, his Cyber Planet key. And Ratchet's key is an Earth key. And with each key was, was stamped with a code. Now, I got this key with this figure. Officially, it says the key is supposed to be D26W. The code on my key I got with this ratchet, I've kept with him since I got him, was D4V6. So, I don't know if they put the wrong one in the package form, but this is the actual key I got with him. And what you can do with these is on the back here, you'll notice it has a port. When you plug this port into the port, he has spring-loaded weapons. If you take that out, they don't retract. They stay out until you put them away. So let's put these away. Got to pull them back and close these panels. And now we're going to get down to transformation for him. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually, on the back, bottom piece, we're gonna loosen these. And we're gonna to come to the front. This whole front panel is gonna be popped up, like such. This is actually gonna form the legs. And the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna flip out the feet. And we're gonna take these wheels and turn them inward. Same thing over here, flip out the feet. So then may have to separate it a little bit. Flip out the feet. These two halves are gonna come together like such, and then we're gonna separate them. That forms his legs. Next, we're gonna take these, take this back section first, I'm sorry. And pop that loose, let it hang. Next, we're gonna take the two side panels out and up for the arm. You gotta watch out for this piece in the back because if this is hanging over, it's gonna fight. He's gonna pick this up, out and up, like such. And this is just going to fold onto his back. We're going to pull up the head. I pull on this little piece right there. Oh, as I drop him. Sometimes it's better just to move the backpack out of the way. Pull it up. Do the backpack for a second. Flip out one hand. Flip out the other hand. And there. And then we're going to take these two pieces. 
and bring them down. There's Transformer, Cybertron, Red Alert in his robot mode. Oh, wait, I forgot one part. My bad. This is on a double hinge. So you want to bring these to the back here. I always forget to do that. There we go, much better. And there he is in his robot mode, which I still think looks very cool. Despite the, despite the blockiness of this figure, I really do like the way it looks. This mold was used a few times, actually, over the years. For another Transformer in this line of Cybertron, as well as Shattered Glass and a few other lines. So let's take a look at that. We got Gold Face with the red eyes and red on the side of the head. He is not light piped, even though it looks like he should be. Mine's just really, really dusty. We got the sirens on the side of the head, the chest here. Autobot symbol right in the middle, and then you got some venting. Looks pretty cool. That's the gun arm. His regular arm over here. His legs. And his feet. And they do have some nice detail work on this figure. Actually looks pretty cool. I like the way it looks. Again, don't mind this is just really bad dusting on this thing. Been sitting on the shelf for years. I don't play with these really. I just sit them on the shelf and maybe I'll move them around, transform them. But other than that, they pretty much just sit around. And the same function with the key again. Key port's back here. There's the key. And you just plug that in. And these come up and over his shoulders. For his guns. He does have five millimeter port here so he can hold the most weapons. And the interesting part about this figure I like is how you have this gun hand here. And there are, here are the accessories. It's just a port and a pin. Now he's got a hammer arm. And a claw arm. And the other thing I like about a lot of these is they have storage on most of them where you can hide things. For instance, his, hold that open, these will store right in there so collectors like me don't worry about losing them. Articulation wise, this head goes all the way around. How about we do it on camera so people can see that? If the gun's not there, if you want to move this out of the way, you can go all the way around. A little bit of a trick, but you can do it. This door will be in your way. It does go up and down. Nothing at the bicep, does have an elbow bend, and his hand can go up and down just for transformation. Nothing at the waist, but he can kick out pretty far because this does separate. Leg can go back. Again, if you move the backpack out of the way, it goes back a little bit farther. You can go forward. Same thing if you move this out of the way, it goes farther. Despite having weird knees, he does have a very decent knee bend. And these are posable, they can go up and down. And that's Ratchet. I mean, keep Red Alert. I always call him Ratchet for some reason. And this is Red Alert from the Transformers Cybertron toy line.
My final thoughts on this figure is I really do like the Cybertron line. I thought they were very cool and very inventive with the way they looked and how they were designed. They have their complaints. You know, this one here, um, a little bit too bulky in my opinion. I'm really not a big fan of how these fit on him. In the cartoon, they look pretty cool, but in the actual toy design, they're always in the way. Um, the feet design on this one, I like how it was a new idea to separate the front and back of the truck and put them together to make his feet. Other than that, that's pretty much him. If you like what you see, hit the like button. Subscribe if you wish. Comments are always welcome. Thank you very much. From myself and Red Alert, have a good day.